Hey guys, welcome back to another very exciting videos. And today, what I'm gonna do is to share one of my recently tools inside of Nuke, and it's called Saber. And the reason it calls Saber is that uh, most of the idea of this tool is coming from a tool called Saber in After Effects, which is made by video copilot uh, Andrew Kramer, which is a very, very great uh, video effects artist, and he is the most, uh, you know, he's the best in my in my heart. So, um, you know, uh, okay. So, um, uh, his tool is way better than this. So um, the other day I got a friend, <clears throat> he asked me if there's a way that I can, you know, transfer the roto shape into a, a line and it could be animated. So um, I think this, it's pretty easy to do in After Effects, but you can't do this every time inside of After Effects and render it out into Nuke, right? So I think it's pretty convenient to have a tool like this inside of Nuke that you can do something like that. Okay, so um, let's simply introduce this tool to you for you. <coughs> it's not the uh, it's not like the Saber in After Effects. Uh, it has so many of uh, glowing effects and you know a smoke effects and textures in it. It doesn't have anything because we uh, usually in Nuke we don't do that in a sing, uh, in a single n single node right we combine different kinds of uh, node together and to get the effect we want so um, uh, eventually we actually only need a core uh, or a, a channel that we can manipulate with a roto sh a single roto shape that we can you know generate a animated line like this so let's see how this uh, this tool works. So now I'm gonna create a roto like. Uh, I just create a circle. It's a pretty simple uh, shape, right? And to notice that you, you it's only working with the roto shape. It, it's not working with anything else. It only, uh, even if you got a roto paint node. And you got a paint shape that that won't work, but the paint shape it 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 got this in its own right. It got a uh, let's see. It got a stroke uh, stroke tab. Then you can you know create sort of thing. But if you want to use a roto shape, that would be uh, pretty difficult to do. So in order to do that, we create this tool right. So now we got a ellipse tool, ellipse shape, and then we create a saber effect. Then we open it up, and by default, the amount of per stroke is 500. What does it mean? If I got like 10, uh, 10 point, then we generate this, <coughs> and you will see 10 points, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got ten points inside of this stroke, right? So that basically means how much of points you want to uh, uh, generate based uh, based on the roto shape you input into this node. So we all know that a line is combined with multiple points. Right, and the phases is combined with multiple lines. That's the basic rules of, uh, you know, the uh, computer graphics. So um, <coughs> that's basically how it does, how it's done, right? So now we increase this to uh, maybe a thousand, and generate. So now we got a perfect line, right? So now we can, um, you know, control the thickness. And that controls basically how much, uh, how, how thin this thing are. So let me show you a quickly example. So now we got a hundred points here, and each point got multiple uh, pixels to combine with this. So the thickness is how many pixels 
each point have. So like right now, I can control how the points grow, right? So, um, and, and then we inc increase the amount of the points, uh, then it becomes to a line. Then we can use the blur and erode to, you know, smooth this uh, line effect. Okay, so uh, now is the most important part. Uh, we can use the progress start and progress end to animate this uh, with 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 the keyframes. Okay, so um, let's change this, and immediately you can see that there's an uh, animation uh, happens on the line, and uh, of course we can keyframes on that. Like in the first frame, we set a keyframe. In the thir uh, 30 frame, we set it to 1. And in the like uh, 20, we set this to 0 and make a keyframe. And maybe in 50, and, and I can set this uh, start into 1. So now let's select this keyframes and hit H. Then we got a smooth animation. So let's see how it goes. <coughs> All right, so now you got a smooth animation, right? So and you also you can you know change how this thing works. Like how fast or how how slow it started or end. So um now basically it's uh, out of your controls, right? <coughs> and also we can get uh, you know like uh maybe 20 frames, uh, tw oh, sorry, 20 points, and the animation will still go on. So now we can, you know, increase the thickness and the blur size. And now we can, you know, add a great node, and we make it, you know, uh, pretty, pretty harsh. Then we can, you know, add a animation to this also. But now we need to make sure that the center is uh, is our transformation center. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, so um, basically I do a hand uh, head move. Okay, so now we can you know rotation this thing, and with a expression maybe. Uh, now it's it's only a uh, randomized test. It's not uh, a specific way of using this. I, I'm just showing how you, uh, you can uh, what you can do in this uh, this node. Okay, so uh, now we gave it a expression called frame times like um, three, and hit OK. So now it's rotating, right? Okay, so uh, it's gonna be pretty easy to do such a thing inside of Nuke with this tool. So let's get it back into uh, like a thousand. And you probably notice there's another option called evolution. So let's generate this and maybe smooth it, smooth it out a little bit. So now we get a perfect smooth line. Okay, let's. All right. Okay, so uh, now we got the same uh, this the same animation, right? And we can um, we can also add multiple lines. Like we got a two spheres and the third one we can get it here, and maybe we have a by the a. And we can draw a random shapes like this. This is a kind of wave or something. Okay, so now we got a multiple shape inside of one node node. So we can generate this, and it will keep up the same animation uh, rhythm with all of the, you know, the roto shape you drop. Okay, so uh, that's pretty neat, right? And now we can change the mode. Uh, what does this mean? 
right now it's sync. So all the, the rotor shape with the lines are animated in the sync mode. So we can change it into continuous and I will uh, and this will make this animation happens one by one. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> okay, so uh you can do some like um hand writing effect with this option I think. And also we can uh, uh we change it back into the sync. Um let's get this. Uh, just between 0 and 0 0.39 uh, let's change the evolution so it's basically it's the same thing in After Effects Saber so it's just evolution it's just offsetting the progress uh, inside of uh, the line so if you give a expression to this parameter like frame time 3 then you will see a sorry oh sorry it is this is <laughs> this is uh the 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 full cycle i mean in the int in the integer it will be a full cycle so we need to change it into a uh small i don't know how to say that in english it does 0.3 and hit OK. And now you, you can see the animation because you know to, from 0 to 1 is a full cycle so all the integer will be comes to the final final loop the final situation. So let's uh, make it smaller like 0 0.3 and now you can see the details of the animation. But notice uh, you can't use the continuous mode with the evolution it will continue the only uh, uh, the, the one of the the shape the rotor shape it depending on uh, the progress start right okay so um, if you want to use the evolution you, you need to change the mode back into the sync so now you're gonna have the uh, the animation so I think this uh, this can u can be used to create some uh, interesting effect. Like uh, we're gonna change the shape. <coughs> like we're gonna have uh, multiple lines, and we'll uh, get together in the same point. So it's kind of like a energy sourcing effect I'm sorry my English is is pretty poor so <laughs> you know sometimes I want to um, describe something but it's pretty hard for me to um, you know get the proper way to uh, talk about that but you get the idea right okay so uh, now we got the four of uh, the five lines and we generate uh, the lines. So now we control the uh, the progress and make the evolution happen and, and let's see what's happening. And we can shrink it a little bit and you can see there's kind of energy flowing through the lines and imagine there's uh, multiple you know pipes or something like uh, some energy uh, transferring uh, devices and that sort of something like that then you can use this tool to make a energy transferring uh, effect <coughs> and it's pretty easy to do right and also you can make some uh, you know artistic looks like we can change color and it's basically RGBA information so you can change the color and maybe add a glow effect. Okay, increase the intensity and the fall off, but the size can go down a little bit. So let's change this threshold and change the uh, glowing color into maybe blue, deep blue. 
so that's uh, kind of giving you a uh, energy sort of effect so maybe we can change the <coughs> thickness of the line a little bit also uh, yeah so now we're gonna have uh, this kind of you know energy energy like uh, flowing effect it's this may be too much <laughs> I can increase the size of the glow, so now it can uh, basically basically see what I mean, right? And it's running pretty fast. I think it's uh, it's driven by Blink Script. Uh, it generate the map for each one of the roto shape, and transferring them by using the Blink Script. <coughs> So uh, that's basically how this thing uh, works, right? So um, and also all the code inside of uh, the Blink script are open source. So if you are interested in how this thing works, you can you know you can download it and um, you know check the uh, the code inside of it and. If you, uh, you if you're gonna make any changes for this, and you can you know upload a new tool and let me know if if you do that, please. I will be happy to see that. Uh, okay, so um, that's basically how this thing works, and I believe you can create a, a lot of interesting uh, works by using this tool and having fun. Hope this is. Uh, useful for your work or even for fun <laughs> okay so uh, that's the end of this video and thank you very much for watching this and if you are really interesting interested in this uh, in this tool feel free to download it in the Wikipedia and I will upload it uh, I've already uploaded uh, but I think it's it's gonna take a few days to um, you know get this thing online so uh, you can just type saber to search for this and if you don't find it it may take a few days okay so um, bye bye